now we are coming to another one type of classification outline classification of simple fruits already the first slide we have taken three types of fruits are there simple fruits aggregate fruits and multiple fruits so each one we are going to take separately now we are taking simple fruits i give the meaning already the ovary wall develops into fruit wall the ovules fertilized ovules will develop into seeds such fruits we can call as simple fruits okay the simple fruits are further classified into uh, two groups one is fleshy fruits the pericarp pericarp is the wall of the fruit is a thick and fleshy like mango thick uh, it is very thick the wall of the fruit is very very thick and fleshy okay that is fleshy fruit you take this pericarp pericarp means wall of the fruit is a thick and fleshy it is differentiated into for example the best example is mango we are taking vertical section now in the thick and fleshy part three divisions will be present okay now the pericarp is a differentiated into apicarp outer skin the yellow color skin what is present is called apicarp second one is mesocarp the yellow juicy part very thick and fleshy part is there you know it is very soft very juicy that is called a mesocarp and the last one is endocarp at the center very hard structure will be there even with the knife it is very difficult to cut that is called endocarp it is called a stony endocarp so the pericarp is a differentiated into apicarp at the outer region mesocarp in the middle region and endocarp in the inner region the endocarp may be stony or soft but we can easily separate them easily we can uh, observe them identify them so if the pericarp is uh, divided into three divisions then it is a fleshy fruit now we are coming to the next one dry fruit in many types of plants fruits if you take the pericarp is very thin now we cannot say that uh, apicarp mesocarp endocarp and all very very thin it is so the pericarp can easily dryable so whenever it is under sunlight the water will be evaporating and the pericarp the wall of the fruit will become thin and dry that is called a dry fruit say pericarp is thin and it is dryable it can easily dry but here the fleshy fruit the fruit will never be dried it will decay for example mango it will never dry be dried so it will decay but here it is not like that it is a dryable no differentiation of ap meso and endocarp since the pericarp is very thin there is no differentiation of apicarp mesocarp and endocarp now the dry fruits are further classified into uh, three types in the outline classification itself one is dry dehiscent fruits now dehiscent means bursting for example some fruits in some plants we are collecting we are allowing them to dry okay they are dry drying again and again but one particular stage the wall of the fruit pericarp will burst and scattering the seeds that is called a dehiscent bursting of the fruit it is called a dehiscent so dry dehiscent fruit pericarp is a drying and it is bursting okay to release the seeds the next one is dry in dehiscent fruits in dehiscent opposite of dehiscent some plants some fruits if you take they are drying again and again but it will never burst open to release the seeds they are called in dehiscent non dehiscing that is in dehiscent fruit the pericarp is a drying but does not burst the pericarp does not burst open at all okay last one schizocarpic dry schizocarpic now here you can take this the pericarp is drying and may partial dehiscence what is the meaning of partial dehiscence now after complete after thorough drying the wall of the pericarp is bursting partly little bursting will be there but through that gap the seeds cannot come out so it is a bursting but not completely like the first one the seeds will not be released so this is called a partial dehiscence bursting but seeds are not coming out that is called a schizocarpic fruit now we are coming to the fleshy fruits just now i told in the previous slide first part fleshy fruit the pericarp is thick and fleshy so the pericarp is differentiated into apicarp mesocarp and endocarp so in that there are different types are there in the group different types are there what are they the first type is called a berry b e r r y berry now first we will take the points 
the developed from this fruit is the developed from bicorpulary or multicorpulary syncorpus ovary now i'll come to the point step by step bicorpulary ovary the ovary has only two corpuscles already we have studied what is a corpus it is a green uh, structure which is enclosing a cavity one chamber it is enclosing a cavity so the corpus number will be two or multicorpulary 3 4 5 6 7 8 any number so bicorpulary or multicorpulary ovary syncorpus ovary corpuscles are fused at their side corpuscles are fused at their margin that is called a syncorpus so the berry is a developed from bi or multicorpulary syncorpus ovary okay in that epicorp is there mesocorp endocorp three divisions are there epicorp is thin Okay, the best example is a tomato. Now we are taking vertical section. Now at the outermost region, one paper like thin glass paper like one layer will come out. It is called a epicarp. It is a very very thin. Mesocarp and endocarp are undifferentiated. But in this particular berry, the mesocarp is there. Endocarp is also present. But both fuse together, and they are not differentiated into meso and endo. Both are giving same appearance. That is called undifferentiated, and form the pulp. They form the pulp. For example, we are taking the vertical section of the tomato. Outer thin, papery, red color covering is there. That is called epicor. The balance, the thick, well, that is the soft portion will be there. That soft portion is called a pulp. but the pulp is developed from mesocorp and endocorp but the color the thickness everything is same that is pulp pulp bears the seeds only the pulp here only pulp is there here also pulp is there the pulp is bearing enormous number of seeds so berry has enormous number of seeds so the pulp bears seeds example tomato it is a first type now the second type of simple fleshy fruit we are going to see it is called a drupe the best example is mango the best example is mango fruit this fruit is a developed from monocorpulary only one corpus is a present in the ovary compulsory no multi and all no bi no tri tetra okay monocorpulary ovary superior ovary what is the meaning of superior ovary the ovary is a situated above all the other floral parts above all the floral parts so it is on the top of everything that is called a superior ovary one seeded fruit now mango is one seeded fruit if you cut at the center only one whitish seed will be there that is only one one seed so it is one seeded fruit epicorp is a skinny now the outer epicorp we are taking the section the outer protective covering will be there it will be little thicker it is called epicorp so it is skinny epicorp okay it is a epicorp is a skinny mesocorp is a juicy it is a pulp now the yellow color part you can sign fine now it is a mesocorp it is very thick okay it is very juicy very soft in nature it is called juicy mesocorp is juicy that is a pulp the endocorp is stony this is the endocorp the black line what i have drawn here is a endocorp this endocorp is stony very difficult to cut it is giving protection to the seeds okay endocorp is stony example mango so within the stony endocorp only a white color seed will be there which will be very soft it will not be hard it will be very very soft this is called a drupe now we are coming to the third type of fleshy fruit okay simple fleshy fruit it is pepo okay the name the group is called what pepo now the best example for pepo is cucumber i have drawn the cross section of the cucumber okay now cross section cs of cucumber fruit okay the cucumber fruit normally everywhere particularly during uh, except the winter season now uh, december january december and january it will not be there all of the seasons we can find this cucumber now the cucumber fruit that is pepo developed from tricorpulary syncorpus and inferior ovary in the name we can understand tricorpulary three corpuscles are there sin corpus the three corpuscles are joining together margin to margin now you can see that in this picture this is one corpus this is the second corpus third corpus margin to margin they are fused and leaving a central cavity in the ovary 
that is called a tricorpullary syncorpus s y n syn means fused the corpuscles are fused and inferior ovary what is the meaning of inferior ovary ovary is below other floral parts are above the ovary that is called a what is that inferior ovary epicorpus leathery now if you take that uh, cucumber fruit the outer covering will be green in color cucumber skin you can take that it will be leathery okay it will be thick and it will be soft it is called a leathery epicarp okay then mesocarp is flushing here white color zone will be there greenish white it is a thick region okay very very thick region that is only the edible portion what we can eat that is the mesocarp the mesocarp is flushing endocarp is very smooth very thin layer will be present at the center it is called a very smooth endocarp and it is bearing the paired rows of seeds now if you take the cross section of the cucumber you can see now this is the one now here where the two margins are fusing here two seeds will be there here two margins are fusing here two seeds here also two margins two seeds so three paired seeds will be present but in the cross section three pairs you can see but each pair one full length one row will be there so if you lengthwise if you cut the fruit you can see the complete row of seeds so the endocarp is very smooth bearing paired rows of seeds example cucumber even this is the actual picture but the picture is not so clear so that i have drawn this diagram okay now we are coming to the fourth type of a simple fleshy fruit that is hesperidium okay hesperidium now how it is developed we have to see this fruit a hesperidium best example is orange in the fruit market you can see this orange okay now this orange fruit is a developed from multi corpullary very simple to understand if you cut the fruit many small small divisions will be there each one is a developed from one corpel multi corpullary multi locular many corpels with many locules locules means a cavity chamber syn corpus they are fused okay they are touching margin to margin they are touching epi sorry syn corpus superior ovary once again i did not tell ovary is on the top other floral parts are present below so this fruit is a developed from multi corpullary multi locular syn corpus ovary okay the next one is epi corpus leathery now see that we are taking the cross section the outer skin is there this is the epicorp the skin of the orange even in this uh, real one we can see this at the outer one orange color covering will be there you can easily we can peel off it is called the epicorp okay the epicorp is leathery it is thick okay leathery with the oil glands suppose you are taking a piece of uh, the epicorp just you are squeezing or just you are pressing some well, there is a fluid droplets will be sprayed away that is oil glands are there in the skin and it is a producing some oil like substance okay so the epicorp is leathery with the oil glands the middle mesocorp is there here you can see that mesocorp the mesocorp is membranous whenever any orange if you open that and if you remove the skin outer skin will come then the fruit inner fruit is covered by one white paper like covering white paper like covering that is a mesocarp middle mesocarp is membranous membranous means paper like the endocarp is with a juicy has now here you can see the divisions okay lot of divisions will be there we can separate them though they are touching each other we can separate them when you take that inside if you take lot of a, a juicy has will be present that only giving us the juicy uh, edible part okay so the endocarp is with the juicy has example orange so it is called a hesperidium hesperidium means outer skinny uh, epi epi uh, uh, epicorp is there middle membranous mesocarp and inner juicy has will be present it is called the endocarp okay now we are coming to the next one in the same simple fruits fleshy fruits false fruits already i told you what is the meaning of false fruits the ovary wall is not developing into edible parts in the first we have what are the things we have taken ovary wall is edible edible means what edible but here it is not there okay the other than ovary wall will develop into the edible part that is foam we are going to take foam best example is uh, apple it is a false fruit i told already 
Now the comb is a developed from multicorpullary ovary, that is ovary with many corpels, syncorpus ovary, the corpels are fused, inferior ovary, ovary is a bottom, all other parts are present above the ovary. Receptacle, now the receptacle only, what we can call as thalamus, okay. The receptacle, otherwise called as the thalamus, on which the ovary is present, you know, it becomes thick and fleshy, enclosing the true fruit. Okay, the real fruit, this is the stalk, this is the ovary, actually previously it was the ovary. Now the ovary developed into the real fruit here only. Here only you can see the seeds, ovules are developed into seeds. So the real fruit is present here, but here the thalamus is there, no? The thalamus is covering this real fruit. It becomes thick and fleshy, storing enormous amount of food. Okay, enormous amount of food. So the apicorp, sorry. The receptacle becomes thick and fleshy, enclosing the true fruit. Okay. Epicorp is thin and endocorp is cartilaginous. Example, apple. Now you are coming to this last part. We are taking the section. Okay. The edible part and all we can remove. But at the center, if you take that, outer one layer will be present. It is called the epicorp and endocorp. No mesocorp here. Endocorp is when smooth the surface will be there. Okay, one coating will be there. That is called the endocorp, which is called the cartilage. The endocorp is cartilage. Best example is apple. Okay, now we are coming to ballasta. Okay, ballasta. It is a fruit. It is a group name. Ballasta. B-A-L-A-U-S-T-A. Okay, now U is a silent, you can put ballasta. Now we will take how it is developed. The, by seeing the picture, you can say it is pomegranate. Okay, pomegranate. Now we will take it as a developed from multicorpullary, multilocular, inferior ovary. Multicorpullary, many corpels are there in the ovary. Many locules, many cavities are present in the ovary. That type of ovary developed into this inferior ovary. Ovary is down, other parts are above. Pericorp is tough and leathery. Pericorp is tough, tough. Now you take this cross section of this, even here whole fruit also you can take. A red color outer fruit is there, it is very very thick. Now here you can see that outer wall. The outer wall is a very very tough, it is a very very leathery, tough and leathery. Seeds are edible, only seeds are edible, the outer epicorp is not edible. We are removing them, we are throwing them off. So the seeds are edible and the seeds are irregularly attached. They are not arranged regularly, irregularly, randomly they are attached, attached irregularly with the testa. But inside the fruit, some side walls will be projecting here. With the walls only they are attached. If you cut the fruit and you can observe it very easily. Outer red color wall will be there, but white color, small, small septa will be there. Okay. They are called the testa. With the testa, the fruit seeds are attached okay so seeds are edible and attached irregularly with the testa example pomegranate actually the term pomegranate we can first as such scientifically by botanically if you say foam granate because foam is a group previously we have taken foam paper like that so foam granate but actually we have to pronounce it as the normal way we have to pronounce it as not pomegranate, pomegranate. Okay, we are coming to dry fruits. Already I told in the classification outline, uh, that is a dry fruits means the pericorp is thin and it is a dryable. Okay, that is called a dry fruit. In that first group, we are going to see dry degisant fruit. We have studied three groups, dry degisant, dry indegisant and schizocorpic. So, dry degisant fruits, what are the various types are there? We have to see. In that, the first one is called a follicle. It is one group name, follicle. Now, the follicle fruits, how it is developed? We have to say how they are developed. They are developed from monocorpulary. Compulsorily, the follicle is developed from monocorpulary, superior ovary. Ovary is a superior. Okay. Monocorpulary, superior ovary. Okay. When it is a drying, when it is a bursting, the pericorp has two side walls. The pericorp has two side walls. Okay. Now, this is one half of the pericorp, other side two, one half will be there, two half will be attached. Okay. Now, at the time of drying, the pericorp splits in one suture, one margin. One suture means one margin. Okay. So, here one margin, 
and here also one margin is there this margin it is not splitting only at one margin the splitting is taking place through this splitting all the seeds are coming out very simple now the pericorpus like a uh, that is a boat like slowly that margins will be fusing now this is the suture one side suture bottom one suture will be there all the seeds are inside at the time of splitting bottom will not be splitting only where the two margins fused in the suture they are little they are opening but all the seeds will be coming out that is called a follicle example calotropis calotropis is the name of the plant in that the fruit will be bursting like this this is the exact diagram now we are coming to the second one legume okay very common vegetable it is legume now the legume the group developed from monocarpellary superior ovary even here also the ovary is a monocarpellary superior like previous one but some difference will be there it splits on both the sutures it splits on both the sutures example legume pisum now pisum means uh, there is what country bean uh, sorry pea plant okay green pea we are telling you know that so in the vegetable market we can find that the green pea the full fruit you can see that so it is a having pericord two sides will be there two sides but both the sides two margins will be fusing bottom on mars one side margin will be fusing on the top also margins so two side margins will be there but with the pericorp is drying completely what will happen in the upper margin also splitting will take place bottom margin also splitting will take place the same way like previous one what i told this is one half of pericorp another half here first two switches will be here switches means joining the next two switches will be here in between that one row of seeds will be present so the time of bursting after thorough drying the two halves the pericorp okay this side also will separate this side also will separate dropping all the seeds now see that one half of the pericorp is coming here one half goes there then the seeds will be little attached but later on they will fall down now see that splits on both the sutures previous one splits on one suture but here it is a splitting on both the sutures example pisum pisum means it is a common name pisum sativum we are telling them it is a country uh, sorry normal uh, pea plant okay mm. now we are coming to the third type it is called a siliqua okay this is called a siliqua now in the siliqua fruit how it will be present it is also like previous one developed from bicarpellary two carpels are there syncorpus the two carpels are united developed from bicarpellary syncorpus ovary initially single chamber at the beginning if you see that only one chamber will be present okay only one chamber in the ovary that means the two corpels fuse together leaving one wide cavity at the center bicarpellary syncorpus initially single chamber but later double chambered now imagine this uh, diagram what i have drawn this is one half of the pericard this is another one half of the pericard but the central portion what is present is not there the two pericards are kept closer and they are closing here leaving one wide cavity but when the fruit is uh, growing and developing before or at the time of maturity one central false septum will be developed now this is a big chamber at the center one septum will be there dividing the cavity into right chamber and left chamber okay it will be divided a false septum that only what is called a false septum this is the false septum a false septum called a replum another name is there is a seam that means what it is developed at the time of maturity of the fruit at the time of maturity of the fruit so with the false septum replum only all the seeds will be attached all the seeds will be attached splits on both the sutures so both the margins so this half is coming away like previous one even this half of the pericorp is also coming away so the seeds will be present attached with the replum maybe further drying what will happen all the seeds one after the other they will fall down okay so that is called a siliqua but see that siliqua this is the stalk of the fruit this is the tip of the fruit now the pericorp will start bursting from bottom to the tip so that this one half will be here this one half will be present but in the previous one okay legume the splitting takes place from the tip of the fruit to bottom of the fruit one slide before
Now see that this is the bottom of the fruit. Here only the stalk is there. Okay, the pericarp is splitting from the tip. From the tip, the splitting is going up to the bottom. So the two pericarps are attached at the bottom. But in this one, okay, siliqua, the pericarp is splitting from bottom. So at the tip of the fruit, the two pericarp halves are attached. Now we are coming to silicula. Silicua and silicula, they are both are different. Now, very mild difference is there. We will see what are they. The characters same like silicua. The characters are same like silicua, but it is shorter. But here, the fruit is not very long like previous one, silicua. It is very shorter, broad fruit. It is a short but broad. Now see that the two pericarps are splitted, the two halves are splitted. See that how broad the pericarp is. Then the height of the fruit, if you take it, it is very, very short. Okay. So the characters same like siliqua, but the fruit is a very shorter and it is very broad fruit. It splits at one border. Okay. At one border only it is a splitting. At the center, the same way, the replum will be there, seeds will be attached. Okay. One border, that means one suture. Example, capsella. Now, the example of the fruit, what we have drawn is capsella. So, here the two pericarp halves will be there, central replum holding lot of seeds. So, the seeds will fall off one after the other after thorough drying.